once more this 45 year old chronic alcoholic male blah 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 which biochemical test is not useful so you must know bentriomide lung test and fat content test and uh, etc etc they are all for the pancreatitis wherever fat malabsorption is there what is meant by bentriomide test doctor bentriomide test is uh, PABA is produced whenever the bentriomide is being ingested and broken down by uh, your uh, pancreatic enzymes it is a chronic pancreatitis there are no pancreatic enzymes so bentriomide which is ingested is no more broken into PABA so PABA in the urine will not increase if there is chronic pancreatitis which is called bentriomide test not benzidine test so it is why there are Final card level nahi hai, brainstorm level question hai. Eh? A neonate was admitted, eventration of the diaphragm congenitally if you want to say, what is the important criteria? Intact diaphragm is required, eventration ka matlab, not a hole in the diaphragm. There is a little weakness in one of the diaphragm with a thin membrane instead of a proper muscular diaphragm. Congenitally forming become abnormal. So, the underlying viscera will lead to projection of it to a little higher level. So, this eventration, to say that there is an eventration but not a herniation, the criteria is diaphragm still should be, should be still um, uh, intact is what need to be remembered. यह भी थोड़ा ब्रेन स्टेम वाला दिमाग का इस्तेमाल का बात है ये न्यूनाइट में एडमिटेड विथ रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस चेस्टोडियोग्राम वॉज शोन एक्सेट्रा सिस्टिक लीजन आर देर ना सो वॉट इज योर डायग्नोसिस एडिनोमेटॉइड माल फॉर्मेशन वेन ओवर एडिनोमेटॉइड माल फॉर्मेशन आर देर यू विल फाइंड सिस्टिक लूसेंसिस टिपिकली इन दुनेक्स इज वॉट नीट टू बी रिमेंबर नाइन इयर ओल्ड बॉय विथ दट पोस्ट गवर्नमेंट क्वेश्चन वॉज देर नो this many times we discussed so it is a immune complex mediated glomerulonephritis that lead to low complement levels all complement she is expected to return to normal within 8 weeks if the complement levels does not return to normal within 8 weeks it is unlikely to be the diagnosis is unlikely to be psgn this is a very favorite question many times we asked you right in the mock test still brainstem level question nine year old boy is brought once more psgn how will be in psgn as4 levels rheumatic fever may as4 is elevated not in psgn postural gomnephritis is due to which nephritogenic strains that affect the skin as4 has more to do with throat strains so rheumatic fever may as4 titer is followed not in psgn 40 year old with fever cough chest x ray etc uh, what is the sign that you see in uh, sarcoidosis on gallium scan panda sign so many times we discussed this question straight away we gave this picture also and asked you in one of our mock tests Typically, what is meant by panda? Panda, you can see the, how the panda looks like. When you pass gallium, the bilateral hilar lymphadenopathy looks like the eyes of the panda, right? Then, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the eyes of the panda and uh, uh, parotid glands are also there, no? They also will typically be positive. The overall look will look like a panda. I don't know how it will look like a panda. Assume. You can assume anything in this. Why only panda? They also reverse panda also. Then lambda sign also is positive. There is other way. When you look at uh, the lymph nodes uh, enlarged and their distribution. Chronic hepatitis C wala question hai na? What is the histological finding in chronic hepatitis C? That fatty change in hepatocytes is there no doctor? 
on the liver biopsy is a classical finding, but this is also not that easy to guess. Cryoglobulinemia, hepatitis C is like spinal cord level. But uh, everybody wrongly answered either ballooning degeneration or ground glass hepatocytes. But uh, correct answer would be fatty change is what you need to remember. Is the broadcast fine? Clear? Jara Pujo? 32 year old, hepatitis B, surface antigen positive for more than 6 months, envelope antigen is negative and he is having normal serum amino acid transferase. What is that basically mean? Healthy carrier state. What did we tell before we have gone to exam? One question on the hepatitis B serology. Will there be any paper without it? Definitely they will ask. Who is a vaccinated person? How is his serological profile? Chronic carrier, how will he? Acute infection, how will it be? Window period, how will it be? The table is there, no doctor, hepatitis B while a serology. At least now you read. If you did this wrong, definitely one question. 32 year old truck driver with a low CD4 with a high ESR. Uh, the TB wala question. Regarding the opportunistic infections, what is the true statement? Lower the CD4, higher is the rate of dissemination. Clear cut. No confusion about answering this. But still brainstem wala question because we try to think some innovative answers. No? So, simple answers will be generally simple. 32 year old, once more, the same question. Which drug is not preferable in this patient? Uh, with a bilateral lower low reticular nodular obesity, uh, history of fever, etc., etc. So, what antiretroviral drugs will affect the TB treatment? Is a very, very TB plus HIV. Agar dono saadi saad hai to, what are the drug interactions? Is a favorite question. So, you will use ifabrinch, you can use zudavudin, lambudin, but not nevirapid, right? Then uh, 70 year old gentleman, his hemoglobin is 6, uh, that uh, multiple myeloma question, which is not seen in bone marrow. This also for a brainstem level question. Only those who top will, top 100 rankers can be able to answer, still answerable, if you reach it in that Vedantic level of preparation. Huh? So, plasma cell infiltration, everybody know. But uh, what is this cell called as? Mod cell. Mod cell means what? A multiple spherical cell with a single plasma cell having eccentrically placed clock-like nucleus it is basically called mod cell. And finding the mod cell is a feature of multiple myeloma and plasma cytoma. Then what is a flame cell? Typically when myeloma is because of IgA myeloma instead of IgM myeloma, then certain paraproteins can impart a red magneta Q to the peripheral plasma cells which are neoplastic and that gives the appearance as such there is a flame. Once more a feature of multiple myeloma. Then what are meant by phagot cells? Typically in acute promyelocytic leukemia, multiple R rods which are needle like inclusions are there in the cell, they are called phagot cells. So phagot cells is a feature of AML but not multiple myeloma. So a brainstem wala question hai, but uh, those uh, who are academically in a very high ESR while writing PG entrance will definitely crack this, crack this question. Eh? 32 year old primary gravida comes. Pruritis is there, serum bilirubin, aldin, amino transferase values and creatine were given and her platelet count is low. So what did I tell you when before you go to exam? Four conditions. Acute fatty liver of pregnancy, HELLP syndrome, intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy, PUP, Pruritic articarial papules and pustules of pregnancy. Pup. One question out of these four topics will come. Every Sunday I had been sermonizing, right? 
So, at least now you should read. It is a case of intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy. So, acute hepatitis versus intrahepatic cholestasis versus acute fatty liver versus HELLP. Hepatitis can occur in any trimester, but all the other three will occur only in third trimester. Fever, jaundice is the presentation of acute hepatitis. Pruritus is a feature of ICP. Hypertension in HELLP and uh, uh, pain is uh, in acute fatty liver of pregnancy, right to hypochondriac pain. If you look at AST and ALT and the ALP, the various things, please review this table, doctor, favorite question of the examiner. So, uh, 32 year old primary gravity attends outpatient department, yeah, same question. Typically, pregnancy versus non-pregnant women, what is the difference in the liver function test is the favorite question of the examiner. So, if you look at uh, aspartate transaminase and uh, glutamyl transpeptidase, gamma glutamyl transpeptidase, they both will decrease. Bilirubin also decreases, but alkaline phosphatase is elevated. So, correct answer would be C. Then once more, regarding the management of intrahepatic cholestasis. What is the correct statement? What is the treatment of choice, Dr. Woodka? Ursa deoxycholic acid is the drug of choice for the treatment of ICP. What examiner can at most do? Woodka increases bile acid, increase fetal distress, increase the hospital build, increase the chance of your getting seat. So, it should not be used. Correct or not, examiner will ask you. You should say no to that no. Then the yes to your yes for entrance, I mean, uh, PG seat will come. Right? So, not used is wrong. 40 year old with severe headache, palpitations, tachycardia, light, uh, that few chromocytoma wala question. So, incidental oma ko agar aap evaluate karna hai. You have done an ultrasound, you found one mass in the adrenal, you are thinking FIO, you want to know whether it is a FIO or not, how will you evaluate, what investigations will you order? You will order for urinary catecholamines, you will order for cortisol measurement, you will order for dexamethasone suppression, but you do not order for urinary aldosterone, that you won't do, but still put a brainstem level question in deciding the answer. 35 year old with dysphagia, retrocardiac air fluid, the decalasia cardia wala question. What is the most likely diagnosis? Echalasia cardia. Then, uh, in esophageal carcinoma, what do you see? If you pass the barium, that mass esophageal carcinoma, the barium will fill surrounding it. So, it looks like a shouldering of barium. I will show you. Hurst to esophagus, where do you see? Diffuse esophageal spasm. What about my Hurst phenomena? Whenever the patient is upright, in ecclesia cardia you will see this. The barium builds up to a point where the hydrostatic pressure of the barium overcomes the LGS pressure. Lower esophageal sphincter pressure is there, no doctor? Right? So, the barium will rise until the point where it can be more than that of the lower esophageal sphincter. That rise of the barium is basically column is called as Hurst phenomena in echalasia cardia. Then this is called shouldering of barium. Whenever the mass is there, esophageal carcinoma, shouldering of barium is seen in esophageal carcinoma. Still, this is a little brainstem wala question. Eh? Then, uh, but if you answer that 100, then all these questions uh, you are in the second round of boxing competition. First round only, your nose is fractured, your ribs are out, then your neck is uh, sprained means, yaha kitna bhi karo, you can't compensate that. <coughs> Agreed? And those who could not make 100 out of 100 there, can never overtake their classmates in the second round. First round may he, 
little finger only he pushed and you fell down there is a question of your thinking second round i will get up and in this intelligence based questions i will box him left right left right left right and then still can win the competition that is too much ye to brainstorm wala questions final card ki kaam nahi kar rahe to brainstorm rakh ke kya kar sakte so your preparation should be to first pass through that 100 round right 35 year old is anxious to conceive day three fsh is 25 25 international units first of all humko malum hona hai day three fsh kyu karte isliye ye brainstorm wala cheez hai friends infertility workup mein fsh ka significance kya hai bolo follicular reserve how is the follicular reserve maybe you know this fact but you don't know what is the upper limit of the normal value of fsh agar wo malum nahi hai to bhi brainstorm cut off right so fsh 25 is on the higher level that means she has a poor ovarian reserve all the remaining are true serum tsh is normal prolactin 15 is normal husband ka all counts are normal sperms are dancing sperms are jumping sperms are enthusiastic sperms want to swim everything is fine right only madam only 35 year old she took a long time to decide of conceiving mbbs md dm wo pura khatam karne ke baad agar bachchon ko paida karna bol ke plan lagaye to fsh levels keep increasing doctor be very sure right so isliye seed mile ya nahi mile one to babies produce through them they will be going to school you will be going to pg entrance preparation <laughs> ultimately to seed mil jayega ha huh? before they come to mbbs you have to finish that should be the goal huh? unnecessarily don't postpone the things uh, 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 till a longer time just because you have an entrance before you huh? so what is the next best investigation in her anti mullerian hormone you have to evaluate to be doubly sure about her ovarian reserve normal fsh is up to 3 to 20 25 is considered to be higher end of the normal fsh level is what you have to basically remember <coughs> good <coughs> so doctor whatever it is definitely what is examiner going to ask high yield topic list diya na aapko gynaps mein infertility counts are number hai bolo doctor 7th or 8th high yield topic is infertility you go back and check without that there is no paper doctor they today modern day mein what is the challenge one side to control population other side to produce children after finishing md both are cha- equal challenges only in indian subcontinent right so that is the challenge now regarding infertility what is a accept statement it is not 60% doctor 85% will conceive if they have regular intercourse for one year right 60% only if they conceive no infertility will be too much blooming business 85% do but still that 15% of 1.2 billion population of this country with uh, not more than 23 gynecology obstetricians available is a big business right so 35 year old what is the line of management in her so she need to go for assisted conception with donor eggs because of poor ovarian reserve with a high fsh levels that she is having now in the above case scenario who need to be further investigated female partner need to be investigated because evidently fsh is found to be high and males all semen values are international standard may normal values hai huh? then uh, that is the story of 42 questions where brainstorm is used now i will tell you i mean 38 questions 